court granted a case called Holt v. Hobbs. It's a very interesting case about religious freedom for uh, inmates in state prisons. A uh, federal law called uh, RELUPA, uh, which is a companion to RIFRA, part of the uh, alphabet soup of federal law, uh, provide religious freedom for people against both federal and state action. And the really interesting issue here is it's an inmate who wants to grow a half-inch beard for religious reasons, but is only allowed to grow a quarter-inch beard. This is in Arkansas. In 44 other states, they're allowed to grow brief, uh, excuse me, beards of whatever length they'd like. Arkansas said no for basically safety reasons. They said, we have an experience with contraband and weapons being smuggled into the prison through beards. Uh, and the lower courts all deferred to, to, to the prison administrators. Uh, what makes this case doubly interesting is, is it comes on the heels of Hobby Lobby, which in some sense is a very different case. It's a case about uh, the right to not have to provide contraception. It was a case the Supreme Court decided last year and said the religious freedom of private employers who have objections on religious grounds to providing contraception uh, are protected under these same federal laws. And so the hard question I think the court is now confronting is do inmates have the same sort of general religious freedom rights as employers do in this other context. So in some senses they're very different, but I think the public is rightfully seeing them as related cases in the sense of the further evolution of religious protection uh, under federal law. There's been a historical uh, role of the court or uh, effort by the court to defer to prison administrators for good reasons. It's a complicated job, it's a dangerous job, uh, and they've had a history of saying if a prison says this is a problem, they tend to accept it. I think w what this law does is create pressure on them to not accept that kind of position, to uh, look more closely at the, at the prison's reasoning for this. And so I think people are suggesting that the, the inmate has a very good chance of prevailing, particularly since he lost both levels below, but the court took the case anyway, which historically has been an indicator of a court having likely to, to, to overturn it. So uh, I think it's an important case. I think it's the next step in religious freedom. And I think it's interesting because coming from the inmate posture, it tends to cut across your traditional lines where you might see people on the more progressive side acting in favor of religious liberty, where in last term you saw the split being much more traditionally ideological with the conservatives uh, saying that the, they were protected under, under the religious freedom statutes.